wipes i don't know what you're waiting for well this is the place where we get the latest juice topics and tweets and this takes us to jelango yes a radio presenter who apparently was trending and is still trending after his group chats with the big club that is his big clubs went viral after they were exposed by a digger obare who is a blogger hmm? in the chat they were talking of how many women they had dealt with that is their extramarital activities and in this jelango appeared to be among not actually among but in the top of the list on the top of the list and he had to respond to this and this is what he said the past two days have been very rough for me and my close friends because of the chat from our WhatsApp group. Yes, we agreed that it was our group and it's a group that has been there for so many years and through the group. We have achieved a lot in developing ourselves in different fields, more so investments, which was the sole reason for the group. The boys are not just friends, but people we grew up with from childhood, went to school together and achieved a lot together. On the charts you've seen, no one will tell you the genesis of the charts or the previous charts, but they picked what they wanted you to see. We have been judged, abused and crucified and told that we formed a boys group just to have our pleasures. We will not defend ourselves. But this was just another random boys chat in a WhatsApp group. The difference between us and you is that your chats haven't leaked out. But I can assure you that in most WhatsApp groups, chats about men women money can never miss people blown this out of proportion and i can assure you we are totally broken i have had people call me to encourage me and the boys and others calling to just condemn us we have taken this as a lesson this is a lot of malice and hate around it but we cannot go there now what really happened or what's the truth when COVID happened most of my friends closed office and i requested them to come help me build my youtube channel we took one of our appointments and turned into a fully fledged studio and that's where we have been shooting occasionally we go to where our guest is or hire a place to work depending on guest request we're always done by 2 or 3 p.m so we sit back and just relax have a boys time and chat few friends have joined us too we went and created one of the biggest online platforms and we already had clients buying space for marketing and advertising further on went on and said that i have not been sent to any compulsory leave my two weeks annual leave began last week and i'll be back on radio in two weeks there are videos going around and i can assure you none of them is us that we created there he said that we created the group to share women among us that's a lie that day we were having a random boys chat and that's how the photos you see came up it's very evident that the blogger has a lot against me he started last year when he said he whipped girls to come to our event that story died when one of the girls dismissed him he then again struck in december last year when i questioned him he blocked me and claimed that i wanted to kill him he has since blocked me and continues to publish my stories all the time. My friend sent me screenshots from his chats. He refers to me that married man he doesn't like. This year he tried to write another story from Alex's birthday party. But since he had nothing to write, he let the story die. On my birthday, he threatened to block anyone who posted me on the timeline. And now even without asking our side, he's gone ahead and had a failed day. He's a happy he's happy because he gets what he wants. Claude, nothing else. What does it benefit you when you do all this? The damage you've caused us can never be repaid, Edgar. And I assure that you will it that i was a bad person this could not have ended well we are not so afraid to follow on anything we will just let this pass but you have broken families we have lost businesses and top clients who have pulled out on us it is okay we understand them no one would want to be around us now we thank clients and friends who have stood by us by seeking to know the truth first the truth will set us free same day for now, we'll have to do is try and put our heads up 
above this storm, hoping it will soon pass. Moving forward, we have learned from this. We accept our mistake and ask for forgiveness to anyone we offended. We ask for, for your prayers and guidance. Meanwhile, the show goes on. And that's what Jilango had to say about all this. That is the exposure he had. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye. Till next time with more juice and tweets and everything that is happening around you.